Hey though YouTube, we're here to make a small video on how to calibrate your G737 B2 throttle from uh, Throttle Tech. Uh, several guys have been asking for this video for some time now. In the meantime, I'm gonna make this really small video using my desktop screen. Afterwards, I'll do better shots with more detail. Okay, let's start with the calibration process. It's really easy. This is the same uh, process in Windows 7 to Windows 10. Okay, let's start, go to config. Then we go to devices. We go all the way down where it says devices and printers. Okay, and then the screen which you have uh, the controller, throttle tech one. Okay, right click, configuration. And we get to this screen when we have our controllers. Go to Turtle Tech One, Properties, and Configuration. When we're in Configuration, we just go to Calibrate. We click on Calibrate, and we start. Okay, start by moving the axis first. This is really easy. This is achieved by moving the handles. There we go. Move it two to three times. And the other axis. If somehow uh, you need to see the raw data, you can click here and you can see the axis move. Okay, once they are both set, you start moving them from the right lower corner to the upper left corner. This means the axis is calibrated properly. Okay, then you calculate the middle, leave them there, and go to next. Our next step is, um, well, it says here that uh, you have to see the center point. Deliver the center, next. Our next step is the flaps. Once again, if you by any chance cannot see this blue bar moving, don't worry. Just put the rod data here and it should be moving. So we start by moving the handle all the way up, throw it down, all the way down to the detent. Three times at least. And that should do it. And we click next. Next step is the speed brake. Now, with the speed brake, since there's a switch for the arm in position, what I do is I put my finger between the handle and the end so that the switch is not clipped and we start moving it. So make sure it's not clicking the switch. If not, it's, it won't be calibrated properly. Okay, that's it. We click next, finalize, and as you can see, everything's working as it should. There we go. Then we have uh, flaps working as it should. Speed brake. We test switches, switches, switches. Key brake switch, and insert switches, and there we go. You have successfully calibrated your G737B2 throttle. Click, apply, and OK. Now we go to Flight Simulator or Prepare 3D. Okay, now we're going to start our setup in uh, Prepart 3D. Same procedure for Prepart 3D from version 2 to version 3 to the latest one. Same is for FSX. The only difference with Prepart 3D is you're going to see that you're going to be able to calibrate the throttle width in Prepart 3D, while in FSX that's not possible. So once again, we start Prepart 3D and uh, we're going to do steps. Please make sure you follow the steps as listed here, because if not, your throttle won't work. First thing you have to do is you have to disconnect every single device you have. In the meantime, I'm gonna pick any plane and uh, just try to calibrate it without activating the 737. This is just to assign the throttles and everything to the throttle itself. So we can keep with the F22 here, doesn't matter. You can pick up the uh, PMDG 737 afterwards. This is just to calibrate the throttle within Prepart 3D. Oh, 
OK. So here, here we are. First thing, go to Options, then we go to Settings, then we go to Controls. And the first, first thing we have to do is calibrate our device. So we go down to where it says Controller Type, select the controller in this case, Throttle Tech 1, and we go, the first thing we have to do is all sensitivities to full and all no sum to zero. This is really important for you to do, guys, okay? Okay, then we go to calibrate device. Calibrate device, start moving every single handle. And we leave them at the center. Okay, same for flaps. And so for speed brakes. Okay, and we leave it at the center. Press save. And, uh, and we go to axis. Okay, here in axis, this is really important, guys. You have to set up the axis within prepare 3D and then you have to do it through FSUI PC. So the best thing here is if you have assignments, erase them all and start from scratch. We're going to do that exactly. We're going to delete every single assignment we have here. And here, another thing, go to buttons and keys and make sure all of the buttons are erased. If buttons are here, you may have controllers, pressing switches, reversers being activated, stuff like that, even within your D737 B2, because you have not set up the switches. So a good thing is to do is to erase every single uh, button assignment within the controller. You just make sure that the thing is unassigned, as in here, okay? And we go back to access, okay? Once in access, we start. The first thing we need to do is engine one throttle axis. Click and move the X axis. Okay. Second one, throttle two axis. Click and you got the Y axis. Third one, we go to flaps axis. You move your flap axis. There we go. That's set up. And finally, we go to the spoiler axis, click it, move it, and it's assigned. Press OK. And uh, let me erase this thing. OK. Now you can see the engines are moving. Okay, this is setting up the uh, basic center design setup within the part 3D. Coming up next is going to be setting up FSUI PC and PMDG.